This is a consumer-grade plastic mash paddle for home brewers. Until the early 1960s, home brewers in Britain had to pay for a licence, so hardly anyone bothered. Chancellor Reginald Maudling's budget in April 1963 changed that and opened the floodgates. Newspapers filled up with advice and recipes, and paperback guides were written by authors like Cyril Berry. Boots the Chemist had been selling winemaking equipment for some time and quickly became the primary high street supplier of malt extract, hops and brewing equipment. The brewery at the Miner's Arms, which opened in Priddy, Somerset in 1973, was built around a five-gallon home brewing kit. Brendan Dobbin, one of the pioneers of the use of New World hops in British brewing, also started out as a keen home brewer while studying at Queen's University in Belfast. Jack McAuliffe, who founded America's first microbrewery in 1976, started brewing with a kit he bought at Boots in Glasgow ten years earlier. The American craft beer scene grew out of home brewing, with its competition guidelines, publications and rampant experimentation. And it's that culture which has in recent years been re-imported to the UK, fuelling our own craft beer scene. Mm -hmm.